So if you watch Iman Gaji's content, which I'm assuming you do if you watch my channel, and you probably know he invests thousands of dollars per month in redistributing short form content to TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. And if you look him up on any social media platform, it's not too hard to figure out he has a ton of accounts posting this short form content for him. Now, there's a couple of different types of posts that he makes, so I'm gonna show you how to make each one in CapCut, which is also a free editor because DaVinci Resolve doesn't currently have an auto captions feature. So anyway, let's just get into the the first example everything that you've ever wanted is on the other side of one thing and that's work work is the so you can download CapCut on your phone but for this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do this on computer so what you need to do is go to the CapCut website and just download CapCut for desktop once you have CapCut on your desktop, you're just gonna wanna click new project and you'll see the screen. So in the example, he actually uses footage of himself and you can use footage of yourself. I actually recommend that if you wanna build your own personal brand. But if you just wanna practice or you wanna use stock clips, which is what I'm gonna do just for the example, I'm going to go on Pexels, which is a free stock footage website that I usually use in my videos. And you can go ahead, search up random things like boxing. You can see the footage that he uses in the example. It's just like, him in the car, him walking on the beach. Some of them are like him working out, whatever you want. So I just went ahead and did this in advance. I downloaded a bunch of like random stock footage. What you wanna do is go ahead and import all that stock footage. And I'm going to import all the stock footage I downloaded. Uh, then you can just go ahead and add all of it. It all added it at once because I had all of it highlighted and then I clicked the plus. Oh, and actually I forgot to change the aspect ratio of it. You can just click on this ratio button right here and change it to nine by 16. Then for all of the stock footage that's in landscape mode, you can just zoom it in until it fits. Uh, for example, this one, this one already fits. Actually it still needs to be zoomed in a bit. Like this one needs to be zoomed in. Next, what you can do is just put your audio in. So that might be just you talking, you saying something or it could be like some YouTuber. For this example, I just have a random clip from a podcast that Iman's talking on, and I'm just gonna add that. So if you're making if you're making this short, I'm assuming you're either using your own audio, which in that case, you can just drag that in, or if you're using uh, someone else's audio, like for example, a YouTuber, uh, you wanna make shorts like Iman shorts or Hamza shorts or whatever uh, you wanna make, then you wanna go and go ahead and uh, search their YouTube videos, their content for good clips of them talking, saying something that uh, you think is worthy in a short. So let's say you pick this video, he says something uh, that you think is worthy and putting in a short. Then what you wanna do is copy the link of the video and then you can just look up YouTube video downloader, uh, download the YouTube video from there, or you can download 4K video downloader, uh, which is actually a separate application that I use. And then you should be able to get the YouTube video uh, and then what you wanna do is just drag that into the uh, timeline. Then you wanna cut the clip where the audio is that you wanna use. And I have this clip where Iman is talking. So what I wanna do is just separate the audio. So you just right click on the clip, separate the audio, and I don't need the video, so I'm gonna delete that. And I have the audio right here. Okay, so now that I have the audio for that, I want to drag my clips and make them all around even. They don't have to be perfect, but we just wanna use all of them and take up the entire time of when he's talking. And you can use this bar on the right hand side to just like zoom in and out. Just zoom in, make sure that the last clip aligns with the end of the audio. Then this is the part where you can add the automatic captions. So you wanna to go to text in the top and then go to auto captions and create. Make sure it's on English or whatever language you wanna use and it will automatically create the captions for you. So you can see it created the captions and it will be pretty small. So you want to drag this to be bigger. Uh, let's just say about this size and then drag it in the middle. And then you'll see right off the bat that there's too many words per line. So uh, first, actually what you wanna do is change the font to whatever font you want. I like this one called Lemon Milk Bold. That's just the font that I use, but you can use whatever font you like. So the way that you fix this is you just click right here in the middle of the line, make sure in, you're in the uh, captions tab and you have this selected. But what you have to do is click right before uh, you wanna cut the line and then just press delete to delete space and enter to make it go on a new line and it will automatically get the timing right with when he says the words. So I like doing around like three words per line and then entering sometimes just one uh, word per line is fine. So let me just cut the video until I finish the entire thing. So then when you finish that, it should look something like this. 
When you put something on a pedestal, it's signaling to yourself, I am not deserving of that. Okay, so you can see here that on this clip, sometimes it's kind of hard to read the white text. So you can either add like a stroke and a shadow, but what I like to do is add a custom adjustment and then you want to move it below the actual captions and drag it so it fits to the clip. So you can scroll down and you'll see all these things you can change. And I'm going to lower the brightness down to where you can actually see the text. And then other than this, you might find some mistakes uh, where the auto captions, uh, there's like a caption that's a little too early or too late and you can just adjust it right here and change the timing of it. Like you move this one back here, move this here and get it to however you would like. But uh, overall, that's pretty much how you make this one. Uh, the only last thing is you can add some music. So I just got the music that he used in the example. And you can actually go to the Chrome Web Store and download this Shazam Google Chrome extension. If you don't know what it is, it will automatically find the song just by listening to it. So then you have to click on the extensions button and then click on Shazam. And as soon as you click on Shazam, you have to immediately click on the video, uh, make sure that the audio is on so that when it's opening, it doesn't like close out. You'll kind of see what I mean if you try for yourself and you like click a little later, but uh, just try to click on the video as fast as possible. So then uh, it's up, it's listening and you can see it, it found the correct song. So then once you know the uh, name of the song, you can just look the song up on YouTube. Go ahead, download it using the same method I mentioned before. You, all you need to do is just download the MP3 of it and then drag it into CapCut. So I already went ahead and downloaded this. Then it's pretty simple. You just drag into CapCut. I'm gonna cut this part where there's no audio. Drag it back and I'll make it a little bit quieter. And then you just have to cut it at the end. And from there, I'm gonna full screen and show you the final result. When you put something on a pedestal, it's signaling to yourself, I am not deserving of that. Mm. So that's why I would never, ever, ever, ever dare let myself have more than- Okay, so I gotta fix the timing of the captions a little better, but you get the point. It's essentially the same thing as what he has on his Instagram. So let's just get to the next example. Becoming successful at whatever you do is Sure, it's difficult, but I think staying in that position is really where legends are made. So this one is pretty close to the same thing. The only main difference here is the captions, and it's pretty simple from here. Um, so obviously you could see there was two lines, and you can go into the individual captions. Uh, go ahead, make sure it's two lines exactly how you like it. And I would personally change the font to uh, this Montserrat semi-bold italic. That's what I would do, and then you can just uh, first, you want to make sure it's yellow like he has in the video. Maybe make it a slightly bigger. And if you want to edit a line individually, you can just highlight this line here, this bottom line, and then change the font. And you could change this one to the Montserrat Extra Bold Italic. Uh, and then he also has like the type in animation. So that's pretty simple to do as well. Uh, you just want to go to animation tab, go in and go to the animation tab, make sure you're on the in tab and it should be called type one. Uh, you're going to click that and it will type in. And you can see it's a little bit fast. So I'm going to want to extend it. So you can change the duration of it and make sure uh, you're careful when you're editing each individual caption or you're editing the entire thing. So if you want to edit all the captions at once and like do the duration, just make sure you highlight all of them and then you can go to the animation, go add this type animation. It'll add it to all of them. Then go ahead and change the duration to whatever you want. And you can edit also the individual ones. If certain captions need to be animated slower or faster and you can just go through the entire thing and make it perfect to your liking. I mean, really think about this for a second. Everything that you've ever wanted is on the other side of one thing. The last example, again, is gonna be pretty much the same thing, except it bolds when he's saying the words. So for this one, it's pretty simple as well. You can just highlight this one, uh, make this the extra bold italic. And when he's saying it, right? He said glance at a car right there. Then after he says it, you can split it. And then in this caption here, uh, you can highlight this one, make this one not bold anymore. So you can make this like semi bold. And then uh, for this one, you can change the top line to be semi bold. 
So the final product looks like it's bolding as he's saying the words. So you can actually make a ton of these shorts for yourself or if you wanna make a bunch of them of Iman, Hamza, just like these famous YouTubers and you can actually get monetized off that if you stay consistent with it and keep growing your channel and get it to a point where you're actually making money off of YouTube itself. So if you think I left anything out, please ask me any questions in the comments. I respond to every single question that you guys have. And other than that, if you haven't already seen my video on how to edit these longer form videos like Iman, I actually have a video that I recently made, so go ahead and click on that.